Good morning. Welcome to Washington Galleries. Uh, it's the 7th of January. Happy New Year to everyone. Very happy New Year for Newcastle fans. Um, what am I doing? I'm currently waiting on the 50, which is about 20 minutes away. And I'm going to... Where am I going? Durham. Because the new bus station after god awful long time has finally opened and we're going to go and have a little visit to see uh, what it's like so I'm hoping that it's a lot better than everything being on North Road and Melbourne Gate. but yeah we're going to go and have a look we're going to go through some of the facts some of the info that you might need to know about the bus station let's go and get a 50 This is what we've waited five years for, four years for. I'm trying to think when it closed. I think it was around 2019 it closed, just before COVID. But it's nice. It's really, really nice. I was just talking to some people that were on the 50 as well. Some people that uh, have also come to come and see the new bus station. Uh, and they were saying it's lush. Uh, just a couple of things to note that the toilet is free today. Apparently it's going to go up to, I think it's 20 pence when like in the coming days but it's free today I don't know how long it's going to last for um, I think I'm going to go and find somewhere to sit and um, talk about the bus station I'm a bit annoyed that it said Durham North Road the, the NSAs haven't updated but uh, apparently Stagecoach just left their NSAs saying bus station for four years so that's will be correct today they'll say Stagecoach I meant Arriva um, so we're going to have another little look around, see what there is in the bus station, uh, and then I'll come and let you know where everything's stopping. Wait, wait, can we just stop a second? That display doesn't work. That's for... it's. Funded by the RNIB, so surely people who are blind should be able to use it, which means that it should be 3D. But they're not 3D. Hmm. So it seems down the bottom is the step free entrance. And then up here is the, the other entrance. There's two entrances, one at the top, one at the bottom. I'm trying to look for. There was like a bus station sign. Thingy going down and it reminded me a bit of Edinburgh bus station but um, I can't seem to find it I think it's over there oh hello wonder where he's off to I forgot to say there's also this way out which leads you to um, sort of the back of the bus station of the cars there are the Methodist church and that's, this is sort of the way the buses come in that was newly been um, and it looks like there's a good place to get photos up there, so I might stand there for a little bit. But, uh, no, it is... One of the walls isn't put on yet, but it is nice. It's really nice. What I do is how they've not just built one drop I'm going to go the long way, why not? They've not just built one drop off bay, they have built two. Uh, and they're just on the entrance side, you can just see, was it 1535 or something? I didn't really read the fleet number properly, but it definitely had a 15, it definitely had a five. Um, just parked up in one of the layover stands, I think it's just come off the six. Uh, or is go going on to the six. It, it's just, it's just odd, right, to be honest. One of a, a Durham resident has just gone past and said, Huh. Yeah, it definitely deserves the photo. You'd think it would never be built. So there's quite a sense of relief uh, in Durham today, I think, now that the bus station's finally open. It's been delayed like four times. 
Um, but yeah, it's uh, the bus station is going to be served by Go North East, Arriva, and Gateshead Central taxis, but only on the 40 to the rail station. Everything else stops on North Road and Millburn Gate, including PR1 and the PR2. We'll now stop on Millburn Gate, which I think is uh, very interesting, seeing as they have never stopped there. They've always spun round at Millburn Gate roundabout. But um, but no, it's a nice, nice little change for Durham, and it's certainly a lot better than having to stand on North Road looking for where your bus should go from. It's 15.25. There you go. I love it. Um, it seems as well that once the bus station has now opened, they are well. They're down there. They're painting over the, the arrows. Does that imply that North Road could be becoming a two-way street? Who knows? I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe they're getting ready to pave it over or something. But uh, yeah, new Durham bus station. It's really really nice. I'm gonna go in another second and have a look at the interactive displays, which are really. Uh, piqued my interest. No, it is. It's very impressive. It's not done yet, but it's very impressive. Well, that does answer my question. North Road now just seems to be a two way street until that point. But buses now can turn left or right out of the bus. Here. But they always meant to do that. I thought they always went round, round Milburn Gate. Oh well, it's interesting to see. Oh hello. He's not using the bus station. I wonder if he's meant to and he's just forgot. Canopy. That's interesting. I'm now going back up to where I was before uh, because I want to go and start. I want to go and show you the layover bit. I haven't said anything about the layover bit. Yes, I'm going to get across the road because I've just seen a pulsar come around the corner and I kind of want to get across before the bus gets here. Yeah, there's a layover bay just all the way down there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in. Um, there's a, what's there? There's a pulsar and there's a, not a street deck, what do you call them? B5TL in at the minute. Hello. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll just go and stand up there and take some photos instead. I'm going to see, I've just seen a really, like, well not a low wall, but it's a low-ish wall. The layover bay is just over there. You should be able to see, not, sorry, I'm this way. You should be able to see the B5 just over there uh, on its layover on the 21. Because, of course it's not on the X21, why would it be? Also, there, that sign is what reminds me of Edinburgh bus station. Oh, Christ. The right bus stuff sounds horrible. And they're only... Oh, that one's eight years old this year. Never mind, they are actually getting old. God, I remember when they were, when they were introduced into service, man. That one over there, seven years old this year. I remember it when it was put into service on the X9 and X10. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I wonder what interchange will be next. Hopefully here with. Nah, it'll probably be something like Gateshead. Because that needs severely redone. I've just realised you can't see the artwork from the outside. Oh, because that's the canopy. Is that the canopy bit then? That's interesting. I wonder what bit's the canopy bit. Maybe. I, I genuinely don't know. That's interesting. I've just heard some people talking about the toilet situation. About how I thought you had to pay. You do have to pay, but not on Sundays. That's going to be the thing apparently. You've got to pay, but not on Sundays. Sounds a bit weird. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you pay on a Sunday? Anyway, 
No, it's a lovely bus station. There's another 20 just coming. I haven't seen GCT yet. That's probably because the 41 doesn't run on a Sunday. On the diagram, there's something that says like retail kiosk, though I have not found a space for one yet. I've got zero idea where they're going to put this retail kiosk. So, oh well. It'll be like No Shields where it opens later than the bus station. That's still just a little security hut actually in North Shields. Here goes the 20. The only thing that's really got on my nerves about the bus station is the amount of reversing that goes on. We've got an Arriva, oh well, we've got an Arriva reversing, yeah he's about to reverse probably. There's an Angel reversing, no, there's an Angel just reversing, there's an X lines reversing. It's all going on here at Durham, but it's good. It's nice to have the bus station back. It's nice to have not like North Road being clogged up. If something parks wrong on North Road, everything stops. If something parks on, wrong here, there's enough space to get past. I heard people saying it was like a tight bus station. No, it's not. It's actually quite. It looks quite spacious, but I'm not a bus driver, so I wouldn't really know. But uh, no, that is Durham bus station. You over the wall here. Have a look. Have a look at this. You can see it down there, actually. Nice little. Now, people called it a grass wall, and I got angry. I went. It's called a hedge. But there actually is a wall here, so I'm very sorry to anyone that I uh, that triggered me because they said grass wall. It really is a grass wall, it's not a hedge. I just entirely forgot I was going to show you where everything stopped now, so... We're going to stop that right there because that's two minutes of your precious time. He has a photo instead. Just pause the video and have a read through it. There's my finger. No pedestrian access on bus runways or along a footpath on footpaths for pedestrians just saying so it has come to my attention that i just forgot to record and i didn't make an outro which is a, a bit of continuity there if i had my hair cut just had, just had a haircut um so i just like to say that durham bus station uh is really good people i met up with did enjoy it a lot uh and it's definitely it's definitely really good for um for Durham so I just want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time whenever that may be sorry I'm looking a bit over this way it's just so I can see what's going on on my phone screen so everything looks tip top uh, but yeah Durham Bill Station is now finally open to the public you can go and visit it uh, and all the info is in the video that you just watched so if you forgot anything you can just rewind it all right see you later